Hello everyone, my name is Andy, I'm the creator of Event Horizon Gaming and I want to create this video so I provide a little bit of an update in terms of uh, rewards and uh, what you should prioritize now that we have a little bit more info and now that I have realized a few things with the help of my, my guild leader, so the one who told me to create this, uh, this video. So, uh, previously I provided you in the last video with a way that you should prioritize the event rewards. Nothing, almost nothing has changed in the Crimson, in the Golden Oath type of resource. So, in my opinion, the prioritization should be the same. Uh, but a few things might change in the slightly in the um, Crimson uh, Rose currency reward prioritization. Okay, so. Uh, previously, I told you that uh, you should prioritize shard summons and then uh, maybe the chat bubble if you are curious about uh, customization and aesthetics and then diamonds. Um, well, some people, if, you, if they want, they can prioritize the chat bubble because um, um, you actually can get more golden oats than I thought. So... I decided to do some math because basically we are able to do challenge every single day so that thing that's going to provide us with 400 golden oats per day and uh, 1250 crimson roses per day provided that you are able to max out the challenge every single day so the event lasts for seven days so you should get around 2,800 golden oats and 8,750 crimson roses from the challenge mode. But uh, since you can also get 100 golden oats from the quest, that's going to be around 2,900 golden oats. So uh, 2000, uh, total should be around 2,700 crimson roses from the quests. So that means that uh, cumulatively you're going to go up to 11,450 11, Crimson Roses. So in total you're gonna have 11,450 11, Crimson Roses and 2,900 Golden Oats uh, provided that you do the uh, challenge every single day and you max it out and you um, are going to complete the extra quests which are these ones the challenge of votes so uh, that means that we're gonna have a little bit more resources to use so in terms of golden oaths you should just go either for the shards uh, ancient shard summons and um, the chat bubble first and then buy as many diamonds as you can with the left resources with the remaining resources uh, this is going to be in total if you buy them all the shard, the ancient summoning shards that's going to be at I think only one so that's not amazing but it's still with the upcoming Valderon that one single ancient summoning crystal can be the lucky one so may, who knows maybe you should uh, this is why I, to I tell people to buy these uh, then go for the chat bubble or switch it up and then go for the diamonds. So for the golden oats, that's pretty straightforward. For the crimson roses, though, I would I would uh, go like this. So um, go first for the again. This remains the same. Go first for the last exclusives for the captivation of burning desire. This is a very important um, exclusive artifact. Not necessarily because it's very insane, even though it's quite good. Um, but exclusive artifacts are really hard to come by nonetheless, so every time you see those in the shop, go for them. Then I would go for the either the rare summoning crystal or the five star psychic power. Um, so this one, these two are on equal footing, so you can, depending on what your account needs, um, so let's say if you already got, uh, if you already gotten lust and arrogance and you don't want to pull anymore or you don't prioritize pulling anymore, you will probably don't have enough resources to level them up and um, six star them up, go for the five star psychic power, then there are summoning crystals, but make sure that you are gathering both of those, and then uh, I would go for the avatar and um, that left leaves us with the remaining uh, the zira hero 
epic hero the arena permits auto fights and gold so this is where it essentially gets a little bit uh, trickier or i decided um to switch things up in terms of prioritization so uh, Vitis, as I told you before, my guild leader pointed out that some people might actually or could actually use the uh, Epic Awakening tokens. Those people can buy the Zira, not because she's great or something or hard to come by or something. She's fairly easy to come by, that still stands. Uh, she's not strong at all, but um, you can buy her and then sell her for the remaining resources in order to buy something interesting from the awakening shop but uh, for those that don't want to do that i think the next priority should be uh, either auto fights or gold why because the arena permits are essentially 45 arena coins so that should be able to help us clear dual events dual, dual of champion events which are no longer really an issue if you if we just do our daily arena so that's not significantly significantly letting us uh, stay over what recharges adds up in the long run so i don't really uh, necessarily recommend hoarding them anymore uh, this uh, has come up after i've had a little chat with uh, my git leader he pointed this out so he's actually right and the auto fight chances on in my opinion are on equal footing with gold depends really depends on what your account needs if you have under 300 auto fight chances that would be a little bit too less i am around 700 800 right now um but uh, if you are under 300 i would buy the auto fight chances uh, otherwise i would call for the gold um so the gold is going to help you buy stuff daily from the black market and also upgrade your gear and when an event like uh, last day's event can, will come up that's going to be really useful for example the currently the tales of the smith is up so that means that you're going to be to be able to use that gold in order to upgrade gear and progress into the into the um blacksmith events blacksmithing events also that's going to provide also an extra for silas skin shard so you'll be able to advance in your shard summoning event where you'll be able to get the silas skin for free um so yeah it's slightly different i decided to make an update because i want my subscribers to be as informed as possible and uh, short the LDR you should buy with the golden oats the shard and the chat bubble uh, first either of them first can go but they this these two should be the first one to to go and then with the remaining resources buy the diamonds then you should go with the crimson roses you should go for the exclusive artifact then depending on what your account needs you should go for the five star psychic power and rare summoning crystal and then you should go for the avatar if you prioritize aesthetics uh, afterwards if you decide that you want the epic awakening tokens you can buy the zira and sell her and use the awakening tokens even though this is highly niche and even if you don't have her, her a5 i would still sell this if you buy her she's not really that strong she doesn't need specific awakenings so yeah that's gonna be it and after that go for either the auto fight or the gold um and then the arena permits the explanation has been provided in the video so yeah no more uh, talk needed so yeah this is the update video if you have any questions let me know in the comments below i read every single comment that i see um remember that tomorrow at uh, 7 pm eet or 12 pm uh, esd i'm going to be live streaming for the first time i'm going to be summoning for 700 plus summons i think i'm going to have even 800 summons so that's going to be pretty pretty insane i can't wait i've been hoarding my summons for so long that i i i'm literally trembling i can't wait to, to achieve everything i need 
I need Silas, I need Arrogance, I need Lust. All three of these heroes are going to be new for my account and greatly improve my overall um, account uh, proficiency. So yeah, stay tuned for that. This has been Andy, Event Horizon Gaming. Bye bye.